You've heard a Thanos car. Maybe you've heard of a mousetrap car. But have you ever heard of somebody who combined both? Together. Both of them. Both. B-O-T-H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure what that intro was. Yeah, moving on. So obviously there's a lot of different ways to make this car. But we're going to stick with one of the simpler um, models or designs to make this type of trap car. Alright, so I think the hot glue gun is finally warm. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Let's put this on. I guess we'll put it on here. Alright. Um, okay. So, um, here I'm gonna put the axles right away. And, um, after I put these on, I'm just gonna put the mouse trap on right off the bat because... Otherwise, it'll just mess up with everything if I we put it later. Um, all right, I got the first one on. I think these are called eye hooks. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm just gonna call them. I don't know what I'm gonna call them, but it shouldn't matter because we've already put them on, and now I'm just gonna put the axle through. All right, so we've got the axle on. And it's pretty straight. I'm not gonna try to go exact because um, it should work either way. All right, so let's get this wheel on. It's um the wheel is friction fit, which means that it does not use any type of glue, adhesive, or anything else to um, put it on, except like the friction that uh, or how forcefully you put it in. So. That one was a little tough. I'm just gonna put this one on. Um, need a little bit of muscle to put this on actually. It's a little tight. Lucky for you, you know me, I got the most muscle. <laughs> but um, all right, so we've got the wheels on. Now I think that we should go onto the mouse trap and put that on as well. All right, let's put the mouse trap on. All right, I'm just gonna hot glue the mousetrap on, and then we are going to be putting on the back wheels. Oh, I'm almost out of hot glue, actually. All right. I think that's enough. Let me put some in the borders. All right. Um. Am I the wrong, is it the wrong way? Nope, yep it is, okay. All right, it's on. Okay, so now we need to put in the, uh, the bigger eye hooks in the back so that we can put the CDs on and that'll be serving as the back wheels for us. All right, so I got the big eye hooks on with a little help from the drill. And I think that we only need one more turn here. And I think that they're about the same height now. So they're the same as the small eye hooks and we can put in the wooden dowel. And I'm just gonna put this in. All right, so we've got the wooden dowel on and now we need to put the CDs on. So. I have these little things that can connect to the CD and we'll, they, the middle part also fits in wooden dowels so we'll be putting these CDs on and alright the first one's on so let me put the CDs on and then we'll get right to work alright so the CDs are on and this one seems to be wobbly for some reason so let's just take both of them out and investigate because that should not be happening. They should both be even. Um, I mean, I think we should just put it in and try it again because I just, I think I snapped it. I'm not sure. All right, put that on. Let's see if the wheels wobble. Okay, so still, that means something's off. Um, do you see the wheels wobbling? All right, I'm just gonna open this up and check out what's the problem. Yeah, so I managed to fix the dowel, so right now I'm just gonna 
slap on the CDs again and let's see if it works because if it doesn't I'm gonna be really really angry um, I spent like 10 minutes or 20 minutes just trying to fix this stupid dowel and it's honestly so annoying because it kept on breaking again and eventually I got to the point I broke it on purpose and then taped it back together again just so it's not crooked all right so if this if these CDs wobble when they when it spins that's that's just mission failed right there all right so let's see let's see um all right let's move on to the last part so as you can see I put a nail into this longer dowel and we're gonna be putting that on there and um, we're going to be putting a smaller lasso here that'll connect to the nail in the dowel. And eventually when we wind it up and the pow the potential power stored in the mousetrap will cause the car to move. Alright, so when I put this dowel on, before I do it, I am going to be taking off this, um, this, um, the metal part that makes the, uh, arm of the mousetrap have potential energy to resist force and put that down there and now basically it's just it's just a normal arm like on an axle it's nothing special anymore so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna since I'm an absolute peasant I'm gonna be using <laughs> normal scotch tape to tape this to the arm and I'm gonna probably put like two or three layers so that it doesn't break out and hurt somebody um and maybe i'll like put a little bit of hot glue inside as well just for safety measures so a good 20 minutes and an entire roll of tape later i finally taped this thing to the arm of the um <clears throat> mousetrap and now this since this has an extended arm and we have everything set now all we need to do is put on the string and watch the magic work so Obviously, since I'm not really good with knots, this is going to take a not long time, but I did it off camera. I did a little work off camera, and I don't know if you can see this, but like it's a really, really small hook. So I'm going to try to widen this, and then once we put it on the nail, then we can uh, wind up the car and see if it finally works or not. Alright guys, I finally got the string in. So now every time we wind up the car the string wraps around the bigger dowel and the arm of the entire um mouse trap starts to move i'll give you an idea of what that looks like one well-made mouse trap thanos car one terribly made homemade mouse trap car one finish line who will win in this epic battle for the ages that'll go down in the history books as the greatest battle of all time? so much for watching the video if you guys like the video make sure to smash the subscribe button